Hello, my name is Joshua. I am a part of telescopes.com with Hay Needle, and today I'm going to show you how to put together the Jamel 70 Aurora Telescope equatorial mount. Right now I'm going to go over the parts that are included inside the Aurora 70. This is the OTA optical tube assembly. This is the tripod. Right here is the OTA mounting bracket. This will be the tray for the tripod where you'll put your eyepieces at. This little device is the motor drive that will allow you to auto control once you align your telescope to the point of interest you want. Right here is the finder bracket and the finder scope which will you'll be using when you actually have your scope aligned and you're looking for your star or celestial object you're looking for. This will be your equatorial mount which will have your right ascension and declination on it. Here are your eyepieces, or eyepiece, your 20 millimeter, and this is your Bartle lens, which when you put your 20 millimeter on top of it, will times it by three. This is your diagonal lens, which is where your eyepiece will go into, and the other side will go into your OTA. This is your counterweight, and these are your cables to control your right ascension and declination. All right, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna set the tripod. This is so you can have a stable base for when you put on your equatorial mount and eventually your OTA and all your accessories with it. So what we'll do is we'll set the leg up, the legs up, until they kind of hold about in a triangular position. And then we have the plate for your eyepieces. And that's actually gonna go right inside here with these little arms that stick up. And then you'll, what you'll want to do is you'll, since you'll screw in your last butterfly nut inside here. And these actually can loosen so that way you can control how far out your legs you want to spread them or how enclosed you want to have it to. And once you get it to the desired effect, you just tighten it in. And that's it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the legs of the tripod all the way to full so that way we can get the full height of it. There's little knobs on the side you'll just unscrew. Now that this tripod is fully raised, we can start with the next section which will be connecting the equatorial mount to the tripod itself. It'll actually go right through this little hole here. And then your washer and your thread will go through the bottom. Next step is going to be putting on the motor drive. It'll actually connect to the mount itself through this bolt. So the first part we'll have to do is just remove it and the washer and then it just slides right in. And then the other attachment will connect up here. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just tightening in these two bolts into the mount so that they're, that way the unit's actually firmly in place. And the secondary one is up here. And it's nice and firm in there now. Next step will be connecting the cables to the equatorial mount. The long one will actually connect up towards the top, right here. Once you get it in, there is a thread and a little niche on here that will lock it in place. And then a smaller one will go right here on the lower, right next to where the drive motor was at. Now we're going to connect the counterweight and the bar to the equatorial mount. What you'll want to do first is slide in the weight into the bar and tighten it. And then this will just connect into the top right here. 
don't worry about moving this weight back and forth. Uh, you'll actually figure out the balance later on. Right now, we just want to leave it so it's weighted down. Now we're going to connect the OTA mount to the tripod mount itself. We're going to remove these butterfly wings right here. There's two of them, so just kind of just take those off. And this will just slide right through these two holes. And then take your butterfly screws again and thread them right through the bottom. And then we'll just tighten in the last screw until it's firm. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open the mount lock right here. That's what, this is where the OTA optical tube assembly will fit in. Now what we're going to do is put the OTA onto the locking mount. Just like this. And we will tighten it down now. Now that we have the OTA connected to the mount, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the finder scope bracket, which is these little screws right here. All right, now that we have the screws off, we will put the bracket on. And the other screw. That's sturdy. All right, now, once that's in, make sure you loosen up your little screws on the top here so that way you can put your finder scope in. And it just slides in. And this doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna actually adjust this ever so slightly once you align your telescope. You just want it in just to hold in place because these little brackets will actually control your up, down, left, right position. Now our final step will actually be to connect the diagonal, which is this little piece right here, into the back of your telescope. You just want to remove the threading on this little screw. It slides right in, and you tighten it. And now you have your eyepieces, which is your 20 millimeter, which will slide in on the top here, just like that. Or if you want higher magnification, it also comes with a three Barlow lens, which multiplies your magnification times three. How you do this is you take out your eyepiece, slide it into your Barlow lens. So after you connect the 20 to the Barlow lens, you will slide this into your diagonal and tighten it. And now your 20 millimeter eyepiece is basically a nine millimeter eyepiece because of the three times Barlow lens. Now this is what your telescope will look like once it's fully assembled. Now you can go out and get ready to stargazing. You'll just, all you have to do now is just align it up, set your weight, balance it out. Pretty simple, and start stargazing.